trees themselves, I would guess that we maybe cover a maximum of about 10 miles per drive, I would say, is probably roughly what we do. Depends, of course, on the sighting that you get. So if you get a really, really nice sighting with Karula and she's completely static, then obviously we don't travel as far. But, I mean, I assume you mean in the kind of average drive. Sorry, I'm going to... I don't know how this is going to work. This isn't going to work. This isn't going to work at all. Bit of silver cast leaf there to the base. It's okay, there's no thorns. Oh, no. <laughs> no, this is not. <laughs> to work. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. Pium <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed it. I imagine, <laughs> I imagine that the ladies in FT must be absolutely paralytic at this point. <laughs> Oh, that is very funny. Okay, I'm gonna try not try and contain the giggles. <laughs> oh god, that was so funny. <laughs> okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. BM, did you enjoy that? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Oh, that was hilarious. Okay. I'm going to try not to giggle anymore. Oh, the things I do. Gracie, in answer to your question after, after that very, very relevant moment and that spectacular show of dignity and gracefulness, Gracie would like to know if all of the fallen trees can't speak. <laughs> Oh yeah, Gracie would like to know. <laughs> Gracie wants to know if all of the fallen trees that we drive past on drive are from elephants. Gracie, yes, they absolutely are. The elephants tend to reshape the landscape a little bit and leave booby traps in the road. And the reason that I actually got out to move that particular silver cluster leaf tree was <laughs> silver cluster because what happens is people ignore them and they drive around and eventually they start to form a new road which is actually not that good for the environment. So I figured I'd sort of give it a try, see if I could pull it off the road. I was not expecting the branch to break on me. That was a cruel and unusual booby trap that was laid for poor old Jamie to go and move out of the road. And while I recover myself, <laughs> oh, hold on, there's buffalo. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> oh, shame, he's actually blinded his left eye, this gentleman. <laughs> and they are going to wander off behind the trees, and I think perhaps I need a moment to recover both myself and my dignity. <laughs> And while we do that, let's head over to Scott, who has a raptor to show you.